What's up everyone? Thank you for clicking on the video. Hey, how y'all doing? Y'all let me know in the comment section. I want to hear from everybody watching. Uh, today we're looking at a, an amazing home by Franklin Homes. And this is, we're at Florida Modular Homes, okay? This is at their Middleburg, Florida location. They had two different locations, one in St. Augustine and one here. And do y'all remember when I came here last year? Some of you will, some of you won't. I toured this house here last year. They just got it. It was actually just being finished. This one was just being set up, so I didn't get to tour it. So we're back, and I am getting to tour it here today. That's a five-bedroom over there. I toured it. It's on the channel. Y'all love that house. Okay. It's been, it came like a crazy storm just a couple hours ago. So I'm not going to walk through there because I don't want to, well, I don't want to get my, I don't want to get my white shoes there. <laughs> no. Shoes, I'm not too worried about. I just really don't want to mess up because then I got to go inside. I don't want to track anything, that sort of thing. But we've got us a side door over there. As you can see, that goes into the utility room. Oh my gosh, is that a second level? I think it is. How about if I come up close right here? I want to give you a shot of this uh, siding. This whole home has this uh, hardy siding. Uh, and then we got the stone right around here. It's beautiful. I'll step right up here. See if I can give you a little bit. And I love the colors. They, uh, they, they, they've got this home really set up. It gives you the the beach vibes here in Florida, you know, or that's what it's doing for me, anyways. Got the extra large roof pitch. Uh, stick around at the end. I'll talk about a lot of information on this home, and you know, just stuff I think y'all are gonna want to know. But I want to come down here and show you what we got. We got us a side porch. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm trying to, trying to stay out of mud. I'm sorry for all the loud traffic, I know. I'm doing the very best I can, okay? All right, I know it's extremely loud. Let's head back around. Okay, we're finna step inside. Yeah, don't forget to drop a like on the video. Please subscribe and notification bell if you have it and you enjoy these types of tours. It'll help the channel out a lot. Now, I'm gonna step up right here. We've got us a nice little porch as we head in. We got the full glass front door. We've got us an electrical outlet right here. And uh, yeah, we've seen everything out here. Whew. Let's make it happen. Let's go inside. So as we walk in, look at that. That's a view right there at your front door. Got a beautiful foyer area. Now I'm gonna start off with the flooring. I love the flooring that you're gonna see in these Franklin homes. Here we go. Okay. Uh, let's start with the living room, then we'll make our way into the kitchen. Yeah, I love these these blues that you see in this house. Very just uh, got the beach vibes going for you. Kind of reminds me a lot of like the ones I just seen at Franklin's Plant that we toured not too very long and last week actually. If y'all hadn't seen those, you need to check them out on the channel. Scroll back, and you're gonna see some amazing new models. I think uh, actually they're gonna be carrying a couple of them from what uh, they was just telling me. So maybe by this time next year, we'll come back and we'll see how they dressed up those models and check them out again. So this is the stairs up into the attic space. And I'm gonna show that to y'all because they got it They got it set up cool. Uh, but we'll just wait and do that at the end. I don't wanna do that right now. I wanna get into the kitchen and to the rest of the, the house here on this main level. We got the electric fireplace as you're gonna see right here. Now, let me go ahead and give you a shot of this crown molding. Ha, ha, ha. Beautiful baseboards. And then we're gonna make our way into the kitchen. Oh, I love these countertops. They have this throughout this kitchen. 
They uh, they have a, that five bedroom over there. If y'all hadn't seen that house, I did it last year. You need to go look at that home as well. Okay. I mean, this is not a walk-in, I mean, golly, it's so close to be, <laughs> it's so close to be considered a walk-in. I mean, you could, you, I mean, you know, let's just, I, you know, I just, <laughs> it's a beautiful pantry nonetheless. Is this, now, I'm afraid this is one of them pantries, let me make sure, okay, it's just, just cabinets, okay. All right, here we go. Serious, serious, serious. Look at this. I love the colors on these cabinets they went with. With these, they went with your white cabinets and these darker tops. Ooh, gets me in my feels, you guys. I love that. Backsplash is beautiful as well. We've got an electrical outlet there, two right there. Uh, we've got the lights under the cabinets down there. We'll check that out. Yeah, so check this out. I like that. We've got the Lazy Susan. You know, I'm starting to think I see one of these in about every one of the Franklins that I tour. It's almost like if you get a Franklin home, it's coming with a Lazy Susan, whether you want her or not. You know what I'm saying? All right, what about the Venna Hood? I like this. Do you remember seeing the one from the show I did the other day had like a darker look? I wonder if that could be an option in here as well. Not that I would want to put that in this particular model. I just kind of crossed my mind thinking about that, how you could dress those cabinets up just like that. Notice the lights up there. Okay, I'm get, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm getting crazy. Back over here. We have us an electrical outlet right here on this side, plus you've got some USB plugs on there. Look at the handlebar mustache on that cat. I'm gonna go ahead and continue down this way and then we'll come back. You got, you got room for bars? A bar area here, plus you have it over there, plus you have this dining spot. The seating in this house is crazy, plus the cabinet space. This this kitchen kind of has it all. I've I've seen some other models kind of uh, have a have a kitchen set up and everything kind of like this, and I mean it, it really offers everything. <laughs> it's that's that's why a lot of the manufacturers are going to use a version of this on their on their models in some particular way or another because, hey. It's kind of it's kind of got everything, but I do like this dining room table, and I know this just for show, but that's beautiful. And then so here's our back porch. Step out here for just a second. Oh yeah. You got your outside plug there. Beautiful siding. Got the rails here. Another outlet there. All right, that's all, all we got time for. That's all we got time for. We got to go. Next up, I, I know I kind of showed you just a quick look, but yeah, I want to show you. You've got some lights right there over your cabinets. I like that a lot. You got the built-in microwave. Lots of cabinets and drawers in here. Right around your LG Frigidaire. LG Frigidaire. Right around your LG stainless steel refrigerator. Okay. Down this way, we've got a few bedrooms, and I know I'm back and forth, but hey, this is just how I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Just follow, just, just hang out with me. Just relax. Okay. So this is a huge storage area under your stairwell. 
Uh, you know, I wonder if you could put this on a basement. I would imagine so. I know around here you may not see as much of that as you do more in some of your northern states. Walk into this bedroom. We've got these tall ceilings just throughout the house. Overhead vents. Oh yeah, I like to see we've got these double doors into your closet. Now obviously they got some staging and stuff like that in here. Double racks in here. These are the racks I see in a lot of Franklin homes. It's it's just cool to see some of these houses in Florida. And I just toured some in Alabama last week, you know, at their plant. Same exact house. It's crazy how, how they can transport these big, beautiful homes. What is going <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the bedrooms out of the way because it, it's going to get a little wild after this. Yeah, so right here is your utility room. Let's go ahead and look at it next. Check this out. Breaker box there, and we walk in. Look at the amount of square footage in here. Plus, you got this beautiful folding station, or you know, could that could that be a bed? Could you put a mat? I mean, I don't know. I'm just I'm just kind of spitballing here. Side door. Lots of cabinets in here. There's gonna be the spot for your washer and your dryer. I see you. I see. <laughs> Girl, I ain't messing with you. I got too much to do. All right, we've got us a nice linen closet right here. Great for some storage. Uh, you know, four linens or blankets or whatever, because it's kind of in your hall here. You could do you could do a few different things. Here's our bath. First bath, we've got a sink here, a little bit of countertop space. Now, I've seen this countertop in several of the Franklins. Could you get that same countertops in the kitchen here? Probably. You're going to be looking at a little bit more of an expense there, but that is an option. Here we have the shower tub combo. Shower tub combo. And it's, yeah, very big. All right, so we've seen everything down on this end. Uh, that's that's where your furnace is at. It says don't open, so we're not going to open it. But I'm going to step out. We've got to look at the main bedroom. Did we oh, my gosh, we still got to look at the attic. The second level, as I like to call it. You going to eat that? Wow, I don't ever remember the closet being on right here did they ch so i think maybe they changed that up or am i just not thinking i don't know one thing you're going to notice with franklin's these huge windows pocket door now y'all drop a comment I gotta hear from you let me know what you think about this house Maybe something that you would, uh, what's your favorite thing about it? And then maybe something you would like to change. It's okay if you'd like to change something. I mean, that's the that's the cool thing about these homes. When I tour them, I love being able to share that because that, the customization is kind of their deal. You know what I'm saying? And so that that's what's so amazing about these houses. Uh, so y'all let me know. Now let's walk into the main bath. And I've not seen this shower before in this home at all. So this is going to be interesting. We've got a sink there. And this is another reason why I like touring these models, even if I've done it before. 
is because you do, they can even customize the retailer and they'll do a lot of things that I've never even seen. Look at this. I want to say the last time I seen this house, it was just like a big glass shower, which I do love. I will say that. But this is oh, this is really cool as well. And I'm sorry I don't have the light on in here, but I'll try to give you a good shot. I tell you what, let's get the light on the camera. There we go. I love a Franklin Tausch, and I like it because it's got a really good, you know, you could sing Aruba, Jamaica, ooh, I want to take it to the river, Mama, go. <laughs> I don't know why that song is stuck in my head. It's maybe because I'm in Florida, Key Largo, Montego, he, <laughs> see how good I <laughs> All right, I gotta go. Hey, y'all stick around. We're gonna get to some more information on this particular model. What am I thinking? We gotta get up here and check out the attic. I do this every time. Bill, are you not ever gonna help? Oh, it's locked. I got the key. I got a key for that. Here we go. So yeah, this is unfinished, but just really cool to come up here and just show you all this different space that we have. And, um, you know, you could do some stuff up here. There's all types of options. I'm walking right here, my head. I mean, this is probably eight foot, I'm gonna say right here, this middle section to give you some perspective on everything. I know the floor plan and stuff, it tells you how much square footage this is. I think it's around 12, 1300 extra square foot. And I always ask and I wanna hear, what would you turn this into? Y'all let me know. Y'all let me know. We're finna get into some more information. Don't forget to share the video. Please, please, please share this video. Subscribe. And if you will, hit that uh, like button for us. That'll help us out a lot. Wow. Tell you what I'd turn it into. Mm, I'll be right back with that. All right, just a couple things I want to tell you, and then we'll get into some estimated retail pricing. First off, I thought about it, and what I would do is I would turn that into, well, it would probably be a kid's playroom, big playroom, but I would definitely section off a little section and maybe build an office, maybe wall that up with a door. Because what I've noticed since I've started having my office at my house is when you got screaming, kids are loud. It's hard to get stuff done, so I'd, I'd get up there, and obviously they couldn't be up there playing while I'm working, you know. You know the deal, that's what I would do. Y'all let me know though. Secondly, what I wanna tell you about this house is okay, so this is an all-frame modular. I've talked about it in some of the other homes that I did at their location. They take a crane, they pick up each half, set it on top of a foundation. These things are built to like, I think they told me 160 mile an hour winds, built to Florida State code, okay? Uh, they was even telling me, I know I mentioned it in the last tour, that even site-built homes are like 130 mile per hour wind speeds is what they're built to. So these are built even better than that. But I also want to tell you that you can get this same home. I've toured this model before in Arkansas, okay? You wouldn't, obviously it wouldn't be a Florida State code. It'd be built totally different. Uh, honestly, I think it'd probably be, I think, I think it would be cheaper because you don't have all those wind speeds and stuff. But anyways, that's just stuff that I wanted to make sure y'all understand, uh, which will lead us into pricing on this particular model is what's been provided to me by them. Let me do say first off though, the videos come out Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night. That means our next video will be Saturday night, okay? 6.45 Central Time, that's when the videos come out as well. But yeah, so this is pricing there for an all-frame modular, just like that with the attic space. And y'all know there's so many options that you can option in or option off to change the price. And this will be built for that Florida State code uh, for those heavy winds and everything like that. This will give you a great idea what this home's currently going for. And if y'all go check them out, be sure to tell them you watch the tours, okay? That'll help me out a lot. Right here. 
There you go. Now I know the tour has been very long, but what I want to encourage you to do is if you still got just at least 10 minutes left, go check out another video. We've got so many homes on the channel. Y'all go check out some more of the tours. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you right back here Saturday night. See y'all.